You know, my mom was just so cool. When I asked her to sign me up for karate, she knew that it was something I really wanted to do. And I'm really lucky that she didn't place any kind of barrier or obstacle on that desire, but really just facilitated and helped to make it happen. She was the one who pushed me to become a competitor in martial arts. And every time I told her, you know, hey, I tried to go join this boxing club and they said no, she would just say, you know, some things are just a process. My mom was the one who really helped facilitate my love of Bruce Lee and my fascination with Sugar Ray Leonard. And unfortunately, boxing was not available at the time, but she did find a karate school for me. And uh, I started at nine and never stopped. My mother was a Cuban exile. My grandmother was uh, in a concentration camp during World War II. Both of these women were stripped of their families at age 15. And they had that really cool common bond that they'd experienced something very similar, even though it was very different. My mom was very politically outspoken against the Castro regime. She had to make a choice between conforming or escaping. She was exiled from the country and came and survived in America by herself at 15 and a half years old. My grandmother, you know, was stripped from her family at 15 and a half years old and put in a concentration camp. She then survived Auschwitz. What was cool that I think the men in our family did is they always reminded us of these two stories. Not that they weren't great men with great stories of their own to tell, but their wives had greater stories. And we admired them and we found ways to be inspired by them. And and use the lessons, not like, oh, the world is a horrible place, but rather bad things happen and you survive them. pow has been an amazing life experience for me so far. Uh, it's almost been 17 years, but it's been something that's been in my mind since I was a young kid. I had dreams when I was younger that there would be a place where a person can go to almost like a martial arts university. and not be judged for training in more than one style of martial art. Because when I started martial arts at nine, we just weren't, really, weren't allowed to cross train. And I'm very fortunate that I got to start martial arts because it wasn't very popular at the time. We uh, definitely have made POW a very female-friendly training environment. And I'd like to think that even though I experienced a lot of opposition from masters and school owners and boxing coaches over the last 30 plus years that I at least have contributed to helping to make martial arts and boxing very accessible for women today. All because my mom was super cool.